All right, boys, welcome back. It is episode three of our uh, hardcore Let's Play Survival. Uh, and I have been doing some work to the base, just kind of making it look decent. Um, and this dude just kind of ran up on me. And uh, he's a trader, I believe, and they just wander around and do this. His trades are actually like junk. Unless Lily of the Valley is rare, I don't know. I feel like it is. I, I don't recognize that flower. But uh, Tulip definitely is, and Dandelion definitely is, and then these are just a matter of, I think, finding the right biome. Uh, same with Pack Dice. You can even make Pack Dice, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so that's kind of cool, and this would be a new mob that would be, I don't know when he was introduced, maybe 1.15? I'm not really sure, to be honest. So, like I said earlier, I was doing some research on the bees. I guess I didn't say that earlier, but uh, I was doing some research on a bee. So what I want to do is I want to find a bee nest and then make a wheat farm and that utilizes bees to help uh, just make it faster, I guess. Uh, but I want to go find a bee's nest. So, but to do that, actually, I don't really... Uh, no, let's go find one first and we'll worry about how we get it. <laughs> um, let's go take a look right quick what I did at the base. So I made this cool little pillar design. I was trying to think of a way to make a door uh, that would like be the entrance to the base. But I said, you know what, let's not make a door, let's just make it so it's this cool little pillar system. And then once you get in here, and then we'll start uh, working away from it there. So this is just my attempt at once again getting the grass to go down here. As you can see, it's slowly going, uh, and it'll hopefully climb down here. We have some cows, let's see if they'll eat. So we're pumping out the cows, we still got that one sheep, he'll probably stick around here until I kill him by mistake. Um, but yeah, so let's go see if we can find a bee's nest. So while I was working away yesterday... Or last night, I guess it was. I don't know what happened. I think I was standing here and maybe a creeper blew up or... I don't know, boys, but there was a couple times there. I was pretty close to dying. Uh, it wasn't good. <laughs> I'm probably going to start recording that just in case I do die. <laughs> or like, I don't know, there's some pretty intense moments. Um, but let's head into this uh, forest and see if we can find a bee's nest. So, I actually don't know, like, if they spawn on a specific tree or if it's a special tree. Uh, I don't really know. I have an idea what they look like. So I see two bees nests actually, there's one over there, there's one here. So it must be plains biome, they have a better chance of spawning in. Because there was none in them woods, and like as soon as we get to the plains biome, there's one within minutes. Um, which kind of makes sense I guess, right? Because plain biomes would be more open, more flowers maybe? I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of cows. Oh, look at that, cool. So that is one of the new mobs in uh, Minecraft. I don't know if he'll sting me. I don't think he will. So let's see if we can... So I don't know if I should wait for the bees to get in the nest. So I, I feel like he's trying to pollinate himself right now. Oh, there he goes. I'm just going to take a second now and figure out how we're supposed to harvest this. So I just did a quick Google search. And from what I understand, you need a silk touch to mine the bee's nest. And the bees will remain inside. But we don't have a silk touch. And you can make a bee's hive, which is like the handmade version of it. The only thing is you need honeycombs, and I'm not really sure how to get honeycombs. I don't know if they just... Let's try this one, since there doesn't seem to be any bees in this one. Let's try to break it with our axe, and then see if it drops honeycombs. Ow. Okay, there's a bee in it. So I don't know if, though, if he'd actually be PO'd. I think he's in it right now, though. Oh, no, he's not. Alright, let's try a... Uh... Oh, yeah, he's mad. So, uh... Wait, maybe he'll drop a honeycomb? No. Aw, poor bee. <laughs> so I don't know how you get honeycombs then. I'll be back. I'm going to look into that now. So we need to use a shear on the uh, nest. And did I bring iron? I didn't. I uh, wonder if there'd be any here at the surface right close. Two? No. Dude! Oh, man. They poison you too? Where's the other dude at? I know there's two. Oh yeah, it actually kind of hurt. Okay, well there's two bees nest that <laughs> We are the killer of bees. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to investigate that further. Um, so I'm gonna figure that out after I find some more bees nests. And we screwed up more ways than one. So... Basically, we lost our house. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I found broken blocks over there. I think it's this way. We're going to sleep, though. Um, but, yeah, I, kinda, I don't know. We'll find it, hopefully. Um, and then, a, uh, for as far as the bees goes, we got to wait for them to be honeycomb level 5 or, like, honey level 5. And then you mine them by putting a campfire on them, which must be new block. I've never heard of a campfire. 
Um, so you put a campfire under them, and then from there you're able to uh, shear it, and you can attract them using flowers. Yeah, I have no idea where we're at. It's kind of pretty, but like, like this is a mountain, and our house is around a mountain. Boys, oh boys. This is the farthest we've wandered out of our house in like, since we started this world. <laughs> I think it's over here. I hope. Yeah, I think it's over here. I think it's just over there. I don't think we lost it. I think we found it. Yeah, there's there. Okay. Right on. So we just did like a super long loop, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's the trader. Alright, boys. We all good. We found our base. Um. So yeah, but we still need to find... I think it'd be easiest if we do silk touch. I think that'd be the easiest. We gotta get mining. So we actually don't have diamonds yet. Or uh, anything like that. So what I might do is try to... Uh, find a well i guess we don't need that if we just can find one that's level five let's go find we're gonna find on this level five so we're heading out again i'm gonna do f3 and screenshot this so we know where we're at uh and i'll be back when i find a bee's nest or something happens <laughs> so boys we're like goats right now just like scaling the sides of these mountains gonna die at any point all right we just, I just gotta find a plains biome, or I assume them flower ones. I feel like they'd spawn there too, because that would just make sense. I don't know what else. But I feel like uh, flowers and uh, plains biome are very, very good guesses. Hey, right, so that looks like a plains again. Oh, we found a village right on. So that's actually kind of exciting. So, uh, let's go over there and just see what that's all about. Their head, what is this? Oh, <laughs> what? What does that do? Did they all come? <laughs> what does that do? What's the point in the bell? So there's a blacksmith, I assume. So you do trade, okay? And you have a uh, chest I can take everything out of? What is this thing? A stone cutter. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this game now like that. What a little dude. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yellow bed. What's up with the little dude running around? Look at him. <laughs> he opens the whole door. <laughs> I still don't know what the point in that is. So do they not have chests now that I can like ransack? Oh, another bell. <laughs> what is the point in that? Because they're not running over. Wow, this is pretty cool. Man, this is like all new. I'm gonna have to like do some reading. Or wait, maybe he wasn't a blacksmith. I didn't even read what his title was. I just realized that that guy had a title. I bet she's a woodcutter or whatever that thing was. Yeah, so he come out of that house. What are you? Oh, so he's a mason. Stone cutter. Okay. Cool, I guess. And like, is this little dude in here? <laughs> That's sick. They should make it so you can give them a potion so like he just stays little and we'll like bring him around and be like our little man. Oh! There's a bee. There's your nest. Must be on one of these trees, is it? Come on, old boy. Sniff it out. Where's he going? Is this thing up here? Oh, there he is. I just seen him for a second. Ah! Oh! No! <laughs> Shut up, chicken. Where's your nest, man? He's just being a knob. His nest isn't even over here. Okay, boys, what are we doing here? Like, figure it out. Okay, you've pollen, so you're supposed to be returning to your nest. Get going. See, I must have mined that tree. I don't know. Some funky oh, there's a bee's nest. Friggin' right. All right, so if we hit F3, honey level zero. Wow. All right. Let's clear this out so the bees can have better access to it. We're going to train the bees to fill that puppy up. And then we'll probably break it and not get any honey gomes because, once again, I just tried to rush through the thing. Atta boy. So let's see if the honey level goes up here. Let's 
So he's pollinated. Honey level zero. So I wonder how many times they have to have to do this. Let's try to build a campfire. How do you think you build one? I'll take a guess. That like this. And it sticks. So we fire that there. So now the bees are like sedated. I don't know. They're just like chilling now. Hopefully that dude will come out again now. Should we plant all these flowers right around here? I'm very curious where this other bee was going. Or where his nest was at. Because I really have no idea. Must have been hiding under the brush. Like another. Oh, what is this down here? Oh, lava. Shut up, sheep! F3. Oh, honey level one. So maybe it's just like five trips full of pollen. Or pollen. Not pollen. <laughs> pollen. So I don't know if we got a man out there in the front line right now getting honey or what he's doing. So it's honey level two now. Serious. So it shouldn't take too long, actually. So let's just chill here and wait. And uh, just let our man do some work. We'll follow him around. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh, man, but this dude's like on drugs or something. Look at him. He's like... <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ready to rock. Let's go, baby. I'll lead the way. I'm gonna pause this and then just chill until it gets to five. Do you have to keep putting wood on this, I wonder? So, boys, after years and months of sitting here and waiting, the bees' nest is ready. There's actually two bees. I went over there because remember there was that weird dude that was wandering around as I followed him around while this guy was at work. Couldn't find his nest, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to bring him over here. So I brought a flower and brought him over here, and then I just let go of the flower, and then he went in there. Now we're going to try to, uh, try to get it. So, actually, so I realized last time, I mined it like this, and I think you just right-click. Yeah, what an idiot. Oh my god, I'm stupid. So we have three honeycombs. <laughs> um, so now if we do this, there we go to bee's nest, or beehive, sorry. So that's sick. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring that over to our place. I don't know. Can we put a lead, do you think, on a bee? Because it's so hard to just make them walk and follow us. And I'm trying to think if we're at the right uh, spot. Like, because i got to figure out which way my house is now. See, cause I thought this was... We got a lot of eggs. So, yeah. See, we got these two dudes and they're now fighting over... Uh, Leland bumping. Oh, he must have won. I don't know. So, what we're going to do now, though, is figure out which way our house is, and then we'll come back and get them. And we'll begin the trek across the journey. Across the journey. Across the landscape here and find our house. I think it's this way, I hope. See, I don't want to try to lure them and then end up bringing them the wrong way and then have to drag them all around again. Friggin' bees, man. Let's go get the bees. I got a flower. Oh. Poppy. All right, boys, I'll see you back at the beehive, and then we'll start our trek across the... What if I aggro them, and then will they follow me? They'll probably follow me better, right? Or will they all chill out? I don't know. I don't even know where they're at right now. Come on, bees. I should just aggro them, and then they'll probably follow me. Okay, I'm going to aggro them. Oh, okay. Frig, they're quick. See, where's the other dude going? Come on, follow me. Aren't you mad? Aren't you mad, bro? What if I whip out a flower? Then you're gonna really follow me. There we go. Come on, lads. Oh. He so he's good. So you should be good here in a minute, shouldn't you? Come on, man, relax. Relax, dude. There we go. See, we're all buddies here. Boys, follow me. I got the flower. I wonder if they like one flower for another more. Oh, what? How do you die? Man, what's that all about? If he dies too, I'm going to be razzed. Oh, because he stung me. Stupid bees. I guess stupid me for letting them sting me. They come up quick, though. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, he pollinated? Come on. No, 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 no. No, dude. Dude. Better flower. Look at this one. That's a stuff. <laughs> Dad's gonna come home. What did you do today? 
Uh, I made a bee follow me after I destroyed pretty well every nest I found. So we just like went in like a really big loop. It wasn't even that far. Okay, it's close enough. Boom, boom, boom. All right, boys, mad dash to the house. Skeletons are literally like s snipers. Oh, look at them peeling away from the. Uh, look at all the creepers and stuff. Oh my god. Nice. So, I actually want to bring the beehive over this way. Do you think we can break this or do you think it'll try to kill us? Pretty sure we can break it. I just don't know. He might try to kill us. If he's even still in here. So, there he is. So, let's wait for him to get a little ways away. Oh, so it's already honey level one. It's pretty cool. So can we... Yeah, so he's mad. So let's just give him a minute. Oh, boys. So we got a bee. Now we get another one. And then we can, I'm pretty sure, uh, make them repopulate. But yeah. Wow, that was hard. That was a struggle. So this honey level zero was one, but that actually doesn't take too long for them to... Uh, for their honey level to go up. Let's break that. We should actually make a little... Frank, that took so long. I didn't... That was kind of a stupid episode in a way, but, like... That was a, str <laughs> a lot of stupid things, Don. Um... I'm probably gonna try to, uh... Look, they're, like, cooking. I'm probably gonna try to find another bee here in my pastime and mine and get us, like... Get us some, uh, diamonds and stuff like that going. Uh, and maybe do a little more work to the base. I don't know. But, uh, that took, like, a really long time. That was, like, two and a half hours. That was foolish. Shouldn't have took that long. But, uh, just, I, I literally had no idea what was, I don't know, that was all new to me. The bees and stuff. It was pretty cool, though. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna keep grinding away at this. Uh, I apologize that it was kind of a, it wasn't a right interesting episode. Like, it was kind of stupid in a way, just because we didn't really do, like, crazy amount of stuff. But, you know, that's gonna happen. Uh, it struggles, and I don't have, like, I got, I still have other things to do today, so I can't sit here all day, because like I said, I'm in school still. Um, but yeah, I'll keep plugging away at this when I can. Thanks for watching, boys. That's episode three, uh, and I'll see you again, I don't know when, actually. <laughs> Adios.